Hey everybody, I'm Axel Grave, back with more reactions with the next. As always, remember to support the original content created by using the links on screen and in the description below. If you'd like to support our channel, use the info at the end of this video to like, comment, subscribe, follow, join our Discord, or become a patron at patreon.com slash 3D. Thanks for listening to my boring spiel, and I hope you enjoy the video. Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave, and I am back with another episode of One Piece. As always, I love watching, reading, enjoying talking about One Piece, love the memes, love the style. It is a great story for me. Uh, obviously, just like every story, it has its ups and downs, especially Wano, but I've really been enjoying the animation from this arc. I think the stories from this arc have been pretty great, and uh, all in all, I think that Wano is going to shape up by the end of it to be one of the best arcs, obviously, that One Piece has ever made. Uh, having said that, we're getting into episode 964, which I believe is uh, Odin's little brother. Oh no, Whitebeard's little brother, not Odin's little brother. Whitebeard's little brother, Odin's great adventure. As always, we skip the intros to, you know, not get too much. And as also, I always try to spread the original content creators over on Crunchyroll. We obviously have a link in our intros and stuff. Uh, and, you know, on the bump bumpers on both sides when we do these as well as in the description below we're going to be trying to do that stuff on twitch as well when we do stuff like this to give more links to the stuff that we're watching currently or doing currently just try to get everything kind of figured out a little better and uh, i hope you guys like the background because it's six computer up son bad <laughs> no but uh, uh we're still trying to figure out how to handle overlays and stuff i think we've been making them a bit too long so we'll figure it out soon uh having said all that, and having said my favorite phrase, having said, having said, saving head, no, I'm just kidding, uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. Oh, don't freak out too much, I'm editing the settings, this could get bad. Look at him go. Look at that sea monster looking cap him up. Duh. I not the car. Oh. I'm glad that you're okay. <laughs> Bop. So silly. I like the way they wrote this, though. Stay with me. We really gotta export these to smaller files and see if it helps a bit. I think it's just the length. There were only a few minutes. Foxy did a terrible thing to him. They never talk about why any of this for her. I think she's from the Void Century. Oh, they didn't do it. It's it's supposed to be just like Whitebeard's one. It's huge and over exaggerated and funny as hell. Oh, he's gonna destroy these fools. Doesn't help that my sound for my camera disconnecting is the same sound as this sword release in fucking this anime. Is he still recovering, I guess? Is he gonna go hard now? Does the Whitebeard Pirates show up? Yeah, he showed up and they just split immediately. Is he gonna crack this dude? He's just gonna crack this dude, isn't he? Oh, wow, he didn't even hit him with the sharp side of the blade. That's funny. God, he's so big! Dude, it's funny because Odin makes a big sound when he moves, right? Like a... But Whitebeard makes a... White Kichi? What does that mean? Good brother. 
I could probably move one of the overlays to... <laughs> they snuck on. Of course, damn, they are young in that situation, aren't they? That boat is just so big. <laughs> Come on, do it. It's... It, that one's better than Owens was, but it's supposed to be so exaggerated. And that's just like that. They all are doing their shit, you know? Oh, shoot. Odin. He just cut the whole damn ship in half. You can't steal treasure. It's so funny. Everything is different from before, and each day is an eye opening experience. I'm just a tiny piece of the world. Hey, he's got a nice crown! That actually looks super nice. Eight hundred, yeah. They talked. We talked about her being from the Void Century, I think, before in one of our other things. Fucking Marco. Oh my God, Jozu too. Is that that's? Mm. Good go go stupid crack. That was also um. God damn it! What's his name? Who's who was fighting Mihawk? in the Summit War. I can never remember his goddamn name. But Whitebeard Swordmaster. Even Whitebeard has a sworn enemy. Momonosuke. So, Momo's technically older than all of the Straw Hats. Not in actual physical age, but in general age. What answer? Which would, the obvious choice would have been, uh, the hedgehog of... What was it, Hakumai? eyes already are looking sh way sharper than they were earlier I hate that guy I think I think once again one piece even they're very good at making villains hateable without making them super strong so he oh they're revealing it early they revealed it early They didn't reveal this till way later. I hate it when they do this shit out of order. Some of it's done that way on purpose, guys. And putting it here was... I don't think they put it in the manga there. Maybe they didn't, I'm tripping. But I swear we didn't learn till recently. I don't know how to end an adventure. Oh, man. It almost feels like Oda's talking, right? Like, I think he does. But it feels like... Not like I don't know how, but I don't want to. Nothing in the papers again. That's so funny to see them. Really? No, Captain. Damn, Roger. Oh, 
Gold Roger, a great pirate. He was not the pirate king at this point. Ah, oh, fuck, man. I hate that they revealed that second captain shit. There's some things that are supposed to be done in a particular order, and I think that one was one of them. Um, I'll just leave this up and have the nice One Piece logo behind us. Uh, so anybody who's joining us now, I've been trying to catch up. I'm um, looking through the chat and stuff, but luckily today doesn't seem as busy as usual. Um, I will say, god damn, this takes up so much. God damn. I'm definitely going to be switching from, I think, off of either Chrome or or Streamlabs, because, Jesus, man, it, it uses up so much bullshit. I can maybe get away with putting on one of those to the other side when I'm doing these, but ah, who the f knows. Anyway, sorry about that distraction, guys. As always, thanks for watching. I really enjoyed this episode. I think it had... Once again, people complain a lot about the pacing of One Piece for a good reason, right? Like, there are times when One Piece is poorly paced. But I think a lot of people don't look at the overall show itself, right? They look at it episode to episode instead of as a full run, right? And episode to episode, like, week releases, right? Week to week releases, the pacing is not as great. But I think that's because the general pacing is sometimes better. Um, one, one of the big examples for me is the Foxy arc, where I hate the arc. Everybody hates the Foxy arc. It's probably the worst arc in One Piece. But it's there for a reason. It's there to pace out between Skypea and the very serious Innie's Lobby and, Sky and Water 7 arc. If you don't have that there, it's so much less natural to move through. There have to be times of up and down. Every day is not always an, a day of, like, crazy... -ness. Even if you're on an adventure, some days are just like traveling on sea or meeting somebody for the first time or just checking out an island with your friends. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to always be a huge plot behind every single episode. And um, in order for the main episode plot to work, right? Like, you don't have to have an episode plot every time to make the big plot work. Sometimes the big plot works with just general areas. Having said that, obviously, One Piece's pacing is not always the best, and those are not always the truth, right? Sometimes it's done and it's not needed. But I think that this episode is a good example of a needed portion of, one, it was in the main, right? Like, we, you can check it and read it. Obviously, there were things that weren't, that were put in here and that were not in the manga, which is another great thing about the anime and about pacing it this way is they actually add things that I feel like give deeper context or a fuller vision of the world. Especially in Wano, which I've said time and again that I felt like was rushed compared to many of the other sagas. Um, uh, you know, but with with all that in mind, we're going to go ahead and close off this episode. Uh, I think it was 964, Whitebeard's little brother, Odin's uh, great adventure. And man, it is great, and I can't wait till next episode because I'm pretty sure I know what happens. Don't want to spoil it for you guys, but it should be great. Uh, and we'll catch you next time on... Reactions with the next one piece. Remember to use those bumpers on both sides of the video to support the original content creator as well as in the description below. Yeah, see you next time. If you enjoyed watching and want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month. This will also give you early access to all of our online content, including comics, gaming, music, and of course more of these reactions. Even if you're not able to do any of this, it means the world to me that you would sit down and watch my video all the way through to the end. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I'm Axel Grave, and I hope to see you next time for more reactions with the next.